with Tyron Woodley set to face Colby Covington on September 19th. Tyron Woodley has brought in Jorge Masvidal to help him prepare for his fight. Just in case you've been wondering about the rumors and stuff, they're mother the true. I'll We're beat at your it again. Ass too. <laughs> Tell them, baby. <laughs> Where we at, man? We at ATT Evolution squad up, get some work in. Yeah. A three-round women's flyweight bout between Caitlin Chukagan versus Jessica Andrade has been targeted for UFC card on October 17th. Caitlin Chukagan is coming off a unanimous decision win over Antonina Shevchenko, and Jessica Andrade is coming off a split decision loss to Rose Namajunas. Brad Okamoto recently broke some big fight news. He posted this on his Twitter saying, Per Dana White, Kamaru Usman vs Gilbert Burns title fight targeted for UFC 256 on December 12th, first reported by TMZ. That's the same card as Amanda Nunes vs Megan Anderson title fight. He followed up with Dana White confirms UFC targeting Jorge Masvidal vs Nate Diaz rematch. No deal for that one yet. First reported by TMZ for 12-12. The date still needs to be worked out. January also a possibility, per sources. Alexander Rakic on the Believe in Me podcast speaks on his dominant unanimous decision win over Anthony Smith. I knew Anthony is a tricky guy and uh, I needed to be, when we, when we hit the ground, I needed to be very patient and uh, very focused because his grappling is, and his jiu-jitsu is very good, you know. He took my back twice, I mean he took my back in the first round, but uh, I've been training this so many times with my grappling coach and when he takes my back, there is no escape. So I'm getting a little bit used to this and I mean, uh, Anthony surprised me in the third round how, re how he recovered after this left hook and left kick to the head. Mm -hmm. I thought I'm going to have him, I'm going to knock him out, but uh, man, hats off and he took it really, a really line hard. Yeah, I started with the leg kicks because, uh, you know, in the Apex Arena, the cage is really small. I mean, small, it's really small. So mm -hmm. I started with the kicks. I want to, 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 to hurt him. I want to slow him down a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, I dropped him with the kicks. And then when so, uh, soon we hit the ground, in my head was his words, what he said in the interview, that I'm a one-dimensional fighter, you know, that I'm only a striker. And I told myself, I'm going to show you that I'm not a one-dimensional fighter. I'm going to control you the whole round. And then the next round, we're going to start again in the stand-up position. And I'm going to kick your leg again and going for your liver, you know. So that's the reason I didn't, I choose to stay on the ground with him just to show him that I'm not a one-dimensional fighter. Like I said before the fight, I, I brought a new co uh, wrestling coach and the the, the most important, the, the most thing we was working is this pressure on the ground. We didn't hit so many takedowns. The, 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 the most important thing is uh, how to control the opponent on the ground and where and when to put the pressure. So mm. I've been working this a lot in the last two months and I'm so happy that I could show this in this in this fight. Hey guys, once again, Misha accomplished. I'm happy with my performance. My coaches, Babak, Roberto, Yuri, Richie. We're spending uh, the night here. We're gonna get some pizza some cola and watching the fight thank you for your support hvala za podršku hvala danke für eure unterstützung Bate você. Boa. É teu campeão. É teu campeão. É teu campeão. Olha que bonito. Boa, Cris. Chama no suplex. Azar. Boa. Que pariu.
Kenny Florin on the Anakin Florin podcast speaks on Alexander Rakic's unanimous decision win over Anthony Smith. Well, I, I thought it was a smart performance, and I think that a lot of people, including myself, didn't realize that uh, he was a much better wrestler, grappler than we had anticipated. And I think that, you know, uh, when we were breaking this fight down, we said, hey, listen, Rakic is probably the better striker, no doubt about that. Way more dangerous on the feet, perhaps, than Anthony Smith. But if it goes to the ground, this is where Anthony can really uh, take advantage. And that just never came to fruition, whether it was uh, any positions that he had on top, which weren't many, uh, but the times that he had his chances to kind of attack from bottom, Rockets just wasn't having it, it wasn't giving him the opportunity to set anything up, anything that was remotely close. Rockets was aware of it and basically just shut Anthony down start to finish. I thought it was a solid performance. Um, and I imagine just based on what we saw, even if we did see an extra 10 minutes in that fight, it looked like uh, Rockets really was in cruise control and, and kind of um, just getting better as the fight went on. What's up guys? I just want to say thank you to all the kind messages that everyone has sent me and all the experiences everyone is sharing with me definitely gives me a lot of insight and some things that I can ask. I have an appointment Friday at the Cleveland Clinic um, with a GI doctor so I can get another opinion. I've gotten a couple. I think one of the biggest things that I have to do, unfortunately, no one wants to hear about is get a colonoscopy and endoscopy to really put the final touches on, you know, what I'm dealing with. Unfortunately, it goes a little bit further than just gallbladder removal. Um, and I think that that's where I am. Um, need to stop being so hard hit and, and get checked out just that little extra so i appreciate everybody and it means a lot i heard every wonderful positive thing um that all of you sent me